Welcome to Fox TV News, where everything is true. Chang promises upgrade to police telecommunication system. National Security Minister Dr. Harris Chang says the police force will have a world-class telecommunication network by the end of this financial year. The security minister gave the commitment while addressing an inspector's symposium held at the Hilton Rose Hall Resort in Montego Bay on Wednesday. He said the police communication system was neglected and allowed to deteriorate to the point where divisions had difficulties communicating with each other. But the government, he said, has set out to upgrade the entire P25 radio system and by the end of this financial year, the police will have communication from end to end in Jamaica for the first time. We're expanding the network of connectivity to ensure that all police stations will have effective connectivity and we can exclude it on the new radio records management system effectively. In the modern world, it is impossible to function efficiently without that kind of connectivity, Dr. Chang noted. He added that the government has invested more than $600 million to retool and upgrade the Jamaica Constabulary Force telecommunication system. St. Catherine resident protests exuberant fear hikes. Residents of Paul Mountain and Top Mountain in St. Catherine blocked several miles of roadway on Wednesday morning as they protested exuberant fear increases imposed by tax operators who serve the communities. The residents complained about what they deemed as opportunistic fear hike by the tax operators who are charging more than 19% increase recently authorized by the government. The fear to Spanish stone and buck for students has ballooned from 150 to 150, while adults now bear the burden of paying $750 for a round trip and significant increase from the previous 500 round trip. The roadblocks erected by the residents led to the suspension of classes at Paul Mountain Primary School. Michael Archer, chairman of the school board, disclosed that this decision was taken after consultation with the principal and staff, who concluded that the blockage had rendered regular commuting vit virtually impossible. Wednesday's demonstration also served as a platform for residents to voice their ongoing frustration regarding the lack of running water and deteriorating road conditions. Education Ministry seen positive results from programs implemented to improve literacy rates among students. The Education Ministry is seeing positive results resulting from the pilot programs it implemented in primary schools to increase the literacy rate among these students. The Ministry is aiming for the rate of 80% this year. Portfolio Minister Favour Williams notes that at the last measure in 2019, literacy rate for at grade 411 was 83%. The tests were not administered in 2020 and 2021 due to COVID-19 what the 2022 test showed significant impact caused by the pandemic. Mrs. Williams gave an update on the Literacy Education Accelerator Program, LEAP. She notes that the second pilot initiative, the Creative Language-Based Learning Foundations Program, is also seeing good results. She was speaking at a post-cabinet press briefing on October 25th. We want to get back to the 80% this year for 2024-2025, 85%. And for 2025, 2026, 90%. We are going to do this by targeting 126 primary schools and 56 secondary schools. These are the ones that got an unsatisfactory rating on certain key performance indicators. Six schools were selected in Region 1 and 4. The program was used to bridge the gap in literacy. It was a pilot program. We have results and we are quite impressed with the results. 10 hours of intervention on this program resulted in improvements by eight months in reading and six months in spelling ages. When we looked at the group that was involved versus groups that were not, we're seeing 60% of the treatment group improved at least one grade level, 29% increased by two or more grade levels, and 10% increased by three or more grade levels. So we have something here that we hopefully can scale up across the system to help our children with literacy. We were also piloting the Creative Language-Based Learning Foundations program, 
and we are seeing good results here as well. And these, this program, we will continue in our schools. 63 PPV operators charged for excess fares. 63 individuals have been charged to date as the Transport Authority step up measures to address the overcharging of fares by public passenger vehicles PPV operators. Transport Authority Manager Director Ralston Simit made the disclosure as he addressed a press conference called by Minister of Science, Energy, Telecommunications and Transport Daryl Falls at the Ministry's Maxfield Avenue office in Kingston on Tuesday. Effective October 15, fare were raised by 19%, with a further 16% increase to take effect in April 2024. Simit shared that the authority has executed more than 90 operations since the fare increase took effect. We have made 142 prosecutions in total, he noted. He urged commuters not to pay a dollar over and to report instances of overcharging to the authority. Noting that the authority has the responsibility to safeguard the rights and preserve the interests of the commuting public, he said the entity will not allow any operator driven by greed or other motive to exploit the public. Smith advised that 165 complaints have been submitted to the transport authorities newly established database and to date, 145 have been resolved while the remaining complainants are under investigation. Meanwhile, Minister Voss urged members of the public to report overcharging and take a stand against the practice. He said that there are a handful of operators who are overcharging and once people continue to take these vehicles and pay the higher interest, then the illegal practice will become ingrained. The more they resist is the more they are going to be forced to pull back, he contended. He said while the government and the transport authority have a responsibility to address the issue, the public has a role to play. The commuters themselves have to take responsibility and they have to agree that they are going to report, they are going to boycott, and they are going to do what they need to do to protect themselves because we will never have enough boats on the ground to go into every district and every community and every parish. They can only be one fear, and that is the fear regulated by the Transport Authority, he stressed. Transport Authority Chairman Owen Ellington stated that the authority has established a strong collaboration with the Jamaica Constabulary Force and some of the policing issues, which appear for some time to be intactable or being addressed. The very vexed issue of extortion against public transport operators have been taken on frontally. I am pleased to see that over the last two weeks, the police have arrested close to 20 persons and they are not finished. They are going to continue the work because there is a lot of this problem to deal with around the country, Ellington stated. Please remember to subscribe, like, share, and